Dear friends, welcome back to Automate with Rakesh. Let's attempt one more question from the professional practice test. So let's see what is there in this question. Which activities include the relative to feature indication in UiPath computer vision? It is asking which of this activities. So if you see there are multiple different computer vision activities. Now it is asking you which set contains a feature known as relative to. Now are you sure what is relative to? Do you have a knowledge? If not, don't worry. I'm going to show a demo in UAPA Studio. Then we are going to answer this question. Okay. Now let me show you the demo. Now for this, I have kept one application open on my screen. That is known as Form Any Tailor, tailor or UI Bank. There are so many different sample applications provided by UiPath and in, a, in one of my previous video I have provided the link to download this sample apps. Now here what I'm going to do, I'm going to first drag and drop the CV screen scope. Let's click on indicate on screen and let me indicate the entire application. Now if you see the entire application UI elements has been detected. Let me drag and drop a CV click activity. Okay. And let me click on indicate on scope. Now tell me if I'm going to click on show element, it generally tells me by the neural network server, how many different elements are already detected. Let me ask you a question. If I ask you in this application, there is or there are still couple of elements which are not detected. Can you identify that? So if you see this particular scroll bar, do you see there's a scroll bar scale? Now this is not yet detected, right? This is not yet detected. Now what I will do for in this situations where some of the UI element are not detected, you will be using relative to feature very important point okay when to use relative to feature let me also show you the documentation let me hit on escape and let me show you the documentation so here is the relative to documentation for computer vision i'm going to pass this entire url not to worry now here if you scroll down this page there is a line here which says unless computer vision cannot detect a certain ui element there is no need to use the relative to feature very important point unless it is not detected you don't have to use it so in our case what happened that particular ui element is not detected if i click on show element you can see this one is not detected now in this case i have to use a relative to feature okay now before i use look at this relative to feature i'm going to click on relative to and you, you can see it I have actually the scale right when you bring it down the application size will become small so here what I want I want to really click on this particular area okay I want to click here so I am going to carefully keep my mouse pointer in that area okay now what happened I would like to click on that bar by default what would happen if you click on the bar if you see if I am going to click on this if I click on this, it becoming small. If I click again on this, it becoming large. This is how it behaves. Now I want to click there. Okay. Now here, if you see our indication is not actually proper. So I'll click on edit once again. It should have an anchor, right? So I'm selecting this as an anchor, this as an anchor. Now what is the meaning? For example, if I select this as an anchor and let me remove this. So I've kept two anchors for this target and there is another target. So what is this target? What is this target? What is this two anchors? Now this understanding is highly required. Now, for example, if I'm asking you, hey, you need to identify where Rakesh stays and his address is there with another person. I'll tell you his name. So what you will do, you will first go to that person to ask him, hey, where Rakesh stays, then he can refer you. Okay, there he is because this guy stays near to Rakesh. So he can always refer you. Now, where this guy stays, then I will say he stays near a school whose name is so-and-so and near that you will find a temple. So this becomes an address indication for this target element. So first you have to target B to identify the target A. 
So what would happen if I give you this indication, there is a school nearby, there is a temple nearby. So you find, okay, this is, this must be the person whom I should first reach. So you go to this person and he will tell you the actual target. The same thing works here. When I'm giving like this two anchors, so it understand first it should identify this and near to that, this element I need to click there. Okay, this works. So it's known as relative to. So they are in relation relative to. Getting it? Okay, now let, let me click on okay. And here, let me quickly run this. Now, if you see the automation has run and it has actually clicked here and after few minutes of delay, it has automatically become small. Now, as you have understood, what is this relative to feature? Let us answer this question. Now here, these are the options. Now here we need to identify which activities contains the relative to feature and which do not contain. Now, let me ask you CV screen scope. Does it contain? So for that, all you do, drag and drop the CV screen scope and click on indicate on scope. Now, if you do this here, there is no relative to feature. So that means the answer is wrong. So wherever you find in your question, CV screen scope, you should not select that because this entire option itself is wrong. Now, there is a second option, CV click, CV hover, CV type into CV get text. Actually, this is the right answer. Why? Let me show you. For example, CV click activity. I'm going to drag and drop this CV click activity. Just now you saw that if you click on indicate, it has the relative to feature. Hit on escape to come out of this. Now let me drag and drop the CV hover. Now if you click on indicate this one, even this CV hover contains relative to. This is also correct. Let me hit on escape. Now let me type CV type into. Now, if you click on indicate, you can see even CV type into contains relative to. So three options are correct. Uh, escape. Now next is CV get text. Now if you click on indicate get text, you can see even get text contains relative to feature. So this is the right answer. The right answer is this one. CV click. So click, then you type CV type, then you using the mouse, you are hovering, hover and find get text, getting the text. So like that, you can remember, these are the four activities which actually contains relative to feature. Now here you can find this documentation also here. If you see relative to feature, CV click, CV hover, CV type into this allows you to select the single point selection. Now using CV get text, you can select an area, larger area. So these are the four activities which contains relative to feature. Now you will say, Rakesh, what if, don't you think uh, the drop down contains the relative to? No, it doesn't. For example, let me drag and drop, CV drop down, click on indicate. So what happens? Do you see a relative to feature? No. CV check, does CV check contains a relative to feature? Just hit on escape, CV check, click on indicate. You can see there is no relative to feature. So finally, this is your answer. You can make a note of this. I'm hitting on escape. So the answer is this. CV click, CV type into like that. You can remember click and you type and you hover the mouse and get the text. Click, type, hover, get text. These are the four things which contains the relative to rest of it does not contain like check drop down element exists extract table highlight even highlight does not contain okay so don't get confused this is your answer you can practically try it out now if you have any such questions do ask me in the comment section of the video i will try to clarify them so thank you guys for watching let's go through some of the questions that i prepared on this particular area and check your knowledge